The National Construction Code changes for the Northern Territory will apply as follows. The Northern Territory Government will be adopting the livable housing changes and the Minister has been very keen to adopt these changes from 1 October this year. The energy efficiency changes, Northern Territory will not be going with the seven star changes and will be maintaining the current five star level in the NT in recognition of the style of housing in the NT. And the condensation management changes only apply in part in Northern Territory um, based on the climate zone there, particularly those changes around removing of damp air out of the building and moist air out of the building and mantry ducting and exhausting to outside air. So what will these changes mean for the builder in the NT, particularly for the type of housing in the NT? So the livable housing changes, how would they apply to say a tropical style high set home? So there are some exemptions from meeting the step free entrance requirements for these types of homes. So you wouldn't need to have a step-free path of travel, you could still have your higher set houses, but you will then need to meet the provisions, the rest of the provisions, so the wider hallways, doorways, once you're inside the dwelling though. In terms of renovations and extensions, which is a large part of the NT um, market, so these provisions will apply, these livable housing provisions will apply to those types of housing also, but there is there will be some discretion that will need to be applied from the building certifier surveyors um, about to what extent these provisions apply to the renovations in particular in you know an existing bathroom where you're upgrading that bathroom. So the key message for that one is you know have a discussion with your building surveyors certifiers for the project.